building a startup never gets easier. I think people have this perception that once you've made it, it's all smooth sailing and things just kind of fall into place. But with success, there comes bigger expectations and the consequence of not meeting those expectations becomes a lot bigger. My name's Justin Cotton. Previously, I co-founded the live streaming platform Twitch, and now I'm one of the co-founders of Fractal. All right, what's up guys? So GDC is the Game Developers Conference. It's uh, held in San Francisco every year. I think this is the first one back since the pandemic started. And it's pretty much the biggest game developer conference in America or possibly the whole world where you know tons and tons of developers who are making video games come from all over the world to get together and see what people are building. There's a lot of content around how to develop games and building games. And then you know there's a lot of publishers, developers, small studios, large studios, everybody kind of comes in and meets. What's up guys? This week, in the Fractal Vlog, we're at GDC, and we've got three goals. Number one, hire some developers. Number two, sign up some more game developer partners. And number three, throw an epic party to establish Fractal's brand. Let's see if we can get those things done. Bam. So the last time I was here was when we were building Twitch. Worked out pretty well. Gonna try to repeat that magic again. All right, we're going to meet a candidate. We're trying to recruit to work at Fractal, and um, we're meeting him in person, and here's some of the things I look for in a candidate. Number one is somebody who is a self-starter, who's gonna own something. You want someone who's gonna solve a problem for you in a startup, right? And a lot of things are undefined. So you want someone who's gonna come in, they're gonna make a plan. Even if it's wrong, they're gonna try it, and then you're gonna iterate. And that's one of the most important things in someone you look for. Number two, they have to be able to do the job, obviously. So there's a little bit of a consideration on like technical is this person proficient in actually executing it? Number three is you want to find someone who's a culture fit. Is this person going to have the right values that you want as a company? Are they going to work together with the team? All right, let's go meet them and see what happens. All right, guys, we met with a few candidates and we're looking for, what are we looking for in, in the people that we're trying to hire? We're looking for passion, yeah. intelligence, resourcefulness, and non-entitlement. Non-entitlement. Uh, we find a lot of people who want to join the team. Yes. But, uh, you know, we're really lucky. Like, the core team is just so talented that we really want to make sure that we keep compounding that with, like, the same kind of intensity. And that's just a tricky thing. It's a special sauce. A special sauce. That's what we're cooking with. Hi. So we're going into the Solana office, you know, one of our partners, Fractal's built in the Solana chain, and catch them up about what we've been doing um, and some of the features we're building. Like he's such a good host, he could do this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, after a short hiccup at the front desk, we're now on our way up to the Solana office. I think this will be fun. Those guys are awesome. You know, we're getting bigger and bigger. Justin, nice to meet you. Yeah, so yeah. fast, bro. You just joined the team? Yes, From where? Polygon. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Nice sweatpants. Why is it important for Fractal to go to conferences at all? In general, startups conferences are a giant waste of time for startups. You should just focus on building your product and talking to customers. But with Fractal, I think there's a little bit of a different strategy. In the early days of Twitch, we focused on being where our customers were. And the streamers were really focused on, there were like all these events. Every weekend, there were different events. People were going streaming from different tournaments, esports tournaments, game conferences, conventions. And our strategy was we wanted to go and know every everybody at those conferences, all of the people who are streaming or potentially would stream and be their best friend. So we'd go, we'd take them out, uh, we'd throw parties, we hosted a lot of dinners and people loved it. And then we helped people set up their streams, get started on Twitch. And that turned into the Twitch Partners Program, which is, you know, this massive program that fuels all the relationships at Twitch. And because of that, the downstream effects were, you know, years later when YouTube and Microsoft started throwing huge amount of dollars at streamers, many people stayed loyal to Twitch because they had that relationship and the, the Twitch partner program was, you know, I built that over the years. Uh, so with Fractal, you know, we're really taking a similar strategy where we think it's important to be where all the game companies are. 
you know, the people who are creating games, those are our primary customers. And so it's all about being with the game developers, building those relationships, hearing from our customers what they want. And so we think that conferences like GDC are a great way to get in touch with them and, you know, have a lot of those customer conversations at the same time. So that's what we're going to go do. Business in action. All right, we're here in front of Chipotle Mexican Grill. And uh, what are we seeing at the conference? What's it like? People want to know. Well, we're seeing some really good teams that we're already working with that are doing some cool stuff. The vast majority of the industry is like shifting slowly over to blockchain. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's all crypto games now. It's like everybody is going to be playing crypto games in two years, whether they want to or not. All these whiners out there are like, ah, NFTs, I hate you. Oh, I'm going to send you death threats. But you know what? If you want to play games, you're going to be playing them with NFTs. <laughs> Bam! One of the things you're really good at is relationships, and I think a lot of people out there are like, how do I make relationships with people in the industry? You know? But you're not gonna make relationships in like a 5,000 person conference, shaking hands with randoms. You're really not gonna talk to anybody, right? Yeah. And the cool point is, if you come away with a conference with five to 10 really good relationships, by sitting down with them and talking to them, that's worth more than 5,000 randoms. Quality, Cho not quantity. Choose your energy, how you establish that. Yeah. Where are we going tonight? We're gonna, We're gonna cut Justin's hair. No, I'm kidding, no, kidding, 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 kidding. We're going to a big party uh, hosted by FTX, Solana, and Patron. They're taking over a nightclub, and you're going to see Justin's dance moves, and I'm going to be spinning. Yeah. 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 All right, so we came back from GDC and uh, we had a lot of customer conversations. To give you a little insight on what's going on in my head when we're talking to customers, there's really two things that are going on in my head when I'm talking to potential partners. These are game studios that are making a video game that we like to work with Fractal. So number one, it's how can I build this relationship? You know, is there things that I can do to help them? Can I learn more about who they are, what their motivations are for building this game? It's just like really getting to know someone. You know, for me, when I think about sales really in anything, whether it's selling a new employee or a potential partner, or you know, investor, it's all about understanding them first. Like what are their needs, who they are as a person, and try to build that relationship. You know, a lot of that is accomplished by hosting events, throwing parties, inviting people out to do something cool, you know, getting time to talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and then number two is really about listening. So I think a part of any good sales process is listening to them and understanding what are their customer needs. So like what are they trying to accomplish? In the specific case of people who are building crypto games, it's oftentimes like, okay, they want to release their NFT collection. Here's a bunch of features they care about for their community. Here is a bunch of APIs that they want to build into their game. Like we're trying to listen and understand what are the actual customer needs. And then I guess as a third, I'm trying to figure out what's the next step to follow up. So it's like taking some notes, mental notes, right? And then saying, I'm going to pass this off to someone on my team. Uh, maybe if they're on the developer side to answer some questions or somebody who's more of an account manager to figure out how to like get them to find a contract with us. That's it. Move on to the next one. And you try to have as many of those customer conversations as possible in the time that you have. So we also spend a lot of time talking to Solana. They're not a game. They're not someone that we're trying to partner with in the same sense as our like true customers. But you could consider someone like Solana, like the chain, like a channel partner. We're working together. What are they getting out of the relationship with Fractal? Well, they're getting some brand equity because you know the founder of Twitch is building on top of Solana. And then they're also getting an ecosystem partner who's like building something to make games in the ecosystem better, more viable, easier to build, reach more customers. You know, they get something out of that. In that case, we're thinking, how can we support what their goals are? And we're trying to figure out like, what are the asks that we can get from them, which is like lead sourcing, right? It's the same idea applied to different people in the ecosystem. Yeah, so it was really cool. We got to go to the salon office, which is awesome in downtown San Francisco, hang out with them on the couches, meet a bunch of people that we've been working with online, you know, over Slack and Telegram, but meet them in person, uh, which was really cool and get to know them as people. And then of course, uh, they hooked us up for their party, which was awesome. I love partying, as you guys probably know. And so it's great to build that relationship in person and we're throwing a bunch of events at the future of Solana. You know, it's just a really great way to connect with their team. All right, that was the episode of Build Fractal. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed living it. Uh, so keep an eye out for episode three of our series on Fractal and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.